Genesis chapter 1 verse 14 and the creation calendar. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, the sun, and the lesser light to rule the night, the moon. He made the stars also. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Genesis chapter 2 verse 2. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Genesis chapter 7 verse 11 is the first synchronism and chronology of the Bible, an event and a timeline. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. The 17th day of the second month is not the 17th of February. It is based on the creation calendar. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 22, for as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, said the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Lord. Which day is the seventh day Sabbath? The shape of the moon, the horn moon. While the Greek started their month from the conjunction itself, it was a certain shape of the moon that regulated the beginning of the Hebrew month. Scaliger sometimes called it the horn moon. The lunisolar barley harvest calendation is made up of 354 days of 29 or 30 day moon cycle and 365 days solar cycle. The accommodation of the 11 days difference between the two cycle is made up with the embolismic year which adds an additional month every two to three years. And when the new moon was come and it came to pass on the morrow, which was also the second day of the month, 1 Samuel chapter 20, verses 24 and 27, the first day of the month is a new moon. The second day is the following day. Worship based on God the Creator by the first angel, Revelation chapter 14, verses 6 and 7. Men are called upon to fear God and give glory to him and to worship him as the creator of the heavens and the earth. The duty to worship God is based upon the fact that he is the creator and that to him all other beings owe their existence. And wherever in the Bible is claimed to reverence and worship above the gods of the Eden, sun, day, and counterfeit calendar, is presented, there is cited the evidence of his creative power. The importance of the Sabbath as the memorial of creation is that it keeps ever present the true reason why worship is due to God, because he is the creator and we are his creature. The Sabbath, therefore, lies at the very foundation of divine worship, for it teaches this great truth in the most impressive manner, and no other institution does this. The true ground of divine worship, not of that of the seven day merely, but of all worship, is found in the distinction between the Creator and His creatures. This great fact can never become obsolete and must never be forgotten. We invite you to join the Biblical Calendar Restoration Movement. We are a Christian group of Biblical Calendar adherents who have studied and practiced the Holy Convocation of Leviticus 23 for more than 30 years based on the Millerites Movement and the Great Day of Atonement of October 22, 1844. The Bible, astronomy, chronology, and history, along with the Spirit of Prophecy and the Grey Samadon Collection, have been our sources of inspiration and guidance. Help us to restore the true biblical calendar. 
share this website with as many people as you can and on social media, biblicalcalendarmovement.org. There are also movement on the internet offering Sabbath, different Sabbaths, such as the Green Sabbath Project. Is there nothing you can do about the environment? Nothing, maybe one of the best thing you can do. One day every week, do nothing. And this movement is sponsored by the director and founder, Jonathan Schorch. And their mission and vision is very clear. It's based on the environment. In the face of the urgent environmental crisis that the world faces, multiple solutions are necessary, technological, political, economic, ethical, and behavioral. And their goal is to reach as many, many people as possible. And what they mention as being their goal is our materials and event span the range of approaches such as religious, spiritual, pantheistic, agnostic, and materialist. So they are open to reach the whole world, all of the adherents of different religion and no religion that's their goal is to be basically correcting the damage that has been caused to the environment is another movement along the same thought this is from the washington post a very recent article why reviving a 2600 year old spiritual practice made my life better if you like we have the link here for your perusal that you can reach out to this Washington Post, it's called the Green Sabbath as well. And what is very interesting is this part of the article where we bring you to right now. Pope Francis argued much the same about Christianity Sunday in his 2015 Laudato Si, an encyclical about caring for the natural world. Not resting is not just bad for the soul, he says, but it's also bad for the earth. The constant drive to produce and consume more is squandering natural resources, and it prevents us from treating the living world and one another with dignity and respect. The Sabbath forces us to consider how we spend all our days. But they are very specific about which Sabbath to keep. Sunday, like the Jewish Sabbath, is meant to be a day which heals our relationship with God, with ourselves, with others, and with the world. We tend to demean contemplative rest as something unproductive and non-necessary, but this is to do away with the very thing which is most important about work, its meaning. This is the agenda for this third day, the biblical calendar versus the green Sabbath, where again, we bring you the pillars of our faith, and this time it's the Sabbath. And then you will be looking at which day is the Sabbath, the unimpeachable calendar, the calendar counterfeit on mask, and then we offer you a time for discussion. Then we continue with, again, the true biblical calendar and the computation of the biblical calendar and a more time of discussion and comments. This is to help you to understand more. We could just keep on teaching and teaching but there is a time that you have to pause and ask question or discuss the subject. This is what this is allowing you to do. We also bring in the biblical calendar that has been restored in 1844 and also the two studies on Daniel 8, part one and part two. So we hope and pray that you will enjoy these studies again and participate and also Pray that you will come to understand the validity of the true biblical calendar and its computation. Remember, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. May the Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace always.